In a move to term high bank lending rates, members of the National Assembly last week passed the Banking Amendment Bill to cap these rates at a maximum of 4% above the central bank rate. Bankers have fiercely opposed the proposed bill, saying that small borrowers will be hardest hit. The Central Bank of Kenya has also weighed in, saying that while interest rates may come down through legal methods would not be effective. Both groups have urged the president to reject the bill. This morning, the office of the president said he was yet to receive the bill, but promised to engage stakeholders before making any decision. The president remains committed to finding a solution to the high interest rates regime in the country, and indeed it was one of his campaign promises, and he is committed to fulfilling that pledge to Kenyans. He thanks parliament for sharing that commitment. That said, the president has also noted the views of the central bank, as well as the concerns of the banking sector. The opposition has now jumped into the fray with leader Raila Odinga insisting that President Uhuru Kenyatta should sign the bill into law so as to put an end to the suffering of Kenyan borrowers. The Central Organization of Trade Unions, KOTU, has also added its voice to the raging debate. The Workers' Union has supported the bill passed by the legislators and asked the president to assent to it in order to enable workers readily access credit. You are re-election next year will hinge on whether you are going to assent to this bill or not. You assent to this bill, Mr. President. Be assured of the voice of the Kenyan workers. The Workers' Union also proposed that stringent penalties be taken against bank executives who float the ceiling requirement. Face a fine of up to Kenya shillings 1 million or imprisonment for a term not less than one year or both if convicted of flouting the law. Business people, economists and borrowers will now be closely watching for signals from State House to see how President Uhuru Kenyatta entangles the intricate puzzle. Hudefa Aden, NTV.